premier Super Series event, the highest tier of tournament, the Indonesia event, where he beat the now world champion Chen Long in the semi-final stage before beating Kenichi Targo in the final. Well, don't be misled by that world ranking of 112. He's a much, much better player than that. And you can see from his win-loss record of uh, last year, well, 11 individual tournaments, he finished the year well. He reached the final of the Welsh International, where he lost out to Kieran Merrilies, who, of course, has been playing men's singles for Scotland here in these European Mixed Team Championships. Merrilies and Scotland, of course, caused a sensation in their group, beating the defending champions, uh, Germany, a 3-2, but then Scotland lost in the quarter-final stage. Well, this will be the first meeting between these two players. They've never played each other previously, so they won't know each other's right styles, but I'm sure the coaches will have done all their work. There's Jakob Hoy. Oh, very interesting. Uh, Rajiv Usif, I think, if I can see correctly, has joined Hoy on the coach's bench. And that is lovely to see. There he is. England's number one men's singles player. Obviously not fit for today's match. He's only just come back from injury worries. In fact, missed the national championships because of injury. And to see him on the coach's bench as England's team captain for the men's singles, I think hey, is a lovely gentlemen. touch. On my right, England, represented by Tony Penalty. On my left, Denmark, represented by Jan U. Jorgensen. England to serve, level. Well, there you can see play. the little black ribbon on the shirt there of all the Danish players, and that is as a mark of respect for the sad events in Copenhagen yesterday. Oh, my goodness, indecision there from Jan or Jorgensen. I was talking to him earlier today. And he was very excited about the fact that he's had a good rest since the Super Series finals at the end of last year. He's had some hard training period. Of course, he had injury worries last year. He had a twisted ankle. Then he hurt his knee in the World Championships. And... And then more injury problems with the ankle Two, prior to the Denmark Open and French Open. And he says he's 100% fit. He's rearing to go. And he's played two of the previous four matches in Denmark's campaign. The former World Junior Champion and last year's World Championship bronze medalist, Victor Axelsson, has played the other two matches for Denmark. And as I was saying in the women's singles, the fact that Denmark has such strength in depth, they're able to rest players, they're able to spread the workload. Stands over. Three, two. Just long. So it's over. Three, four. Oh, that's landed in. That's a misjudgment. In fact, Jano Jorgensen struggling to find his spatial awareness in these early stages. It's a couple of misjudged shots. 
very first rally, if I remember correctly. Changed his mind at the last moment to play the shot when he had thought initially it was going out. Sorry, Toby Penty. Claims to be Five, England Bamberton squad's number one dancer. Now we'll look for some slick moves today during his match. Was wide. Six, five. Oh, yes, that's a lovely angle. I thought Jorgensen in the quarter-final when Denmark played against Ireland and came through that 3-1. He beat Scott Evans, the number one Irish men's singles player, in three games. He was, in fact, a game and 16-17 down in the second before having a run of five straight points to close out that second game. And then fairly comfortable in the third, 21-12. But... Not only did Scott Evans play very well, but I thought that Jan Jorgensen, not as, as aggressive as I think I've seen him in the past, in, as far as his tactics were concerned. Ten, well, this is five straight points from Toby Penty. From five, six down. Now that's the sort of aggression I was alluding to. Suddenly unleashing the power play. Seven is over. Seven, ten. Look at the movement there as well. Leaping in the air by the time he's landed. Having initiated the movement with a jump backwards, by the time he's landed, his body movement is coming forward in court. Well taken. The young left-hander from England. Well, we've seen shocks and surprises all week here throughout the competition. Are we about to witness another? It's been a brilliant start by the 22-year-old Toby Penty. 11-7 up in this opening game. Against the world number two. I told you not to pay any attention to that 112 world ranking.
There's Victor Axelson. 20 seconds. Who 20 seconds. played the other two matches for Denmark. Bronze medalist at last year's European Championships and also at the World Championships in his home country. Play. So a four point advantage. Oh, went Seven, for it again eight, at the net. Eight, net exchange Nine, control of the nets so important and the way that the top men singles players now tumble the shuttle tumble net shots off opponents tumble net shots as demonstrated in that last rally really is phenomenal Seven, skills 12, nine. Interesting. 12. Urging himself to up the pace and perhaps also be more aggressive. Oh, that's landed on the line. No shot from Penty. 13, 11. It's good judgment. Oh, it's called good. I'm not sure about that. Yeah, what very good umpiring. Overrule immediately by our umpire. There he is, Sven Suri. Yeah, that was out. Yeah, good umpiring. Going wide. England teammates on their feet at the back of the court applauding the youngster. 
I don't think many people prior to the start of this match really gave Toby Penty any hope of pushing the world number two. He's not only pushing him, he's leading. He's got a three-point advantage. Yeah, you've got to go for those tight, tight net shots and inevitably in trying to play perfection there will occasionally be errors. Just don't worry about it. 15, 16. idea but he's struggling to control the length of the shuttle from that far side of the court is Jan Jorgensen lost count of how many he's hit long of that back line Aggressive play. Brilliant. Well, it was an early step forward. This one here. That was the one that changed the whole momentum of the rally. Great anticipation. Good courage, too. And after that good commitment in the previous rally, a little bit lazy in that one. No, well, back level. 18 all. And I think it's more important for Penty to win the opening game than it is for Jorgensen. Run of three straight points from the Dane to go into the lead. Raise fist. Twenty game points. Yeah, the crucial moment. He's found his range. He's now four straight points. Oh, good flick serve too. Oh. Yeah, coming from behind. Five straight points to close out the opening game. And there's a very, very good reason why uh, Jan Jorgensen is the European champion and so highly ranked in world terms. Go 
career high of number two responds in the pressure situation and he responded with class Yeah, he's a tall athlete, isn't he, Penty? I've always thought of Araji Fusif being a very tall, but Toby Penty, every bit as tall. It's 1 meter 91, that's 6 foot 3. In fact, he might even be a fraction taller than Usif. It is so good to see the England number one encouraging, advising, and helping the younger player. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Starting this second game as he finished the first, Jorgensen. Yeah, there must be a little bit of a drift in this arena. I was pondering that fact yesterday. Came to the conclusion there really wasn't much in it. But it does seem today that uh, Shuffle flying a little bit quicker coming towards us. When you take into account the five straight points to close out the opening game, along with uh, the first five points of this Nine. second game, that's ten yeah. straight points without reply in favour of Jorgensen. And this is why I felt it was so important, far more important uh, for Penty to win the opening game than uh, the importance for this man. Penty, having been in the lead and Having played so well in game number one, there's always a danger for the underdog to think, well, yeah, here we go. I'm not sure I can beat him. Now, no player will, of course, admit to that, but somehow in the back of your mind, that's what you think. Yeah, that rally will do the left-hander a world of good. the line well Toby Penty gives the line judge a long hard look to say I thought it was a oh that was a great call that was clearly on the line 
magnificent placement. Yeah. And full flow in that rally. Jorgensen. Definitely more aggressive Jan Jorgensen in this second game. More attacking play. And look at the follow-up. First the smash straight down the line, but because he knows and he can see that he's hit a good smash and his opponent is at full stretch, he knows that the only possible reply would be a straight block and therefore immediately dashes forward cover the reply So really stamping his authority on this men's singles now. The reigning European champion, Jan Jorgensen. Look at the confidence oozing as he plays that backhand cross court. nicely played. I like the attitude of Toby Penty. Come into this match, of course he's the underdog, but the way he's approached the match is very impressive indeed. Yeah, and good also to hear the 
English teammates still supporting, still encouraging. It's got a mountain to climb. Yeah, just one point at a time. Such clever play. It's not full power. It's just concentrating on the angle. Look at that. And Penty at full stretch. character is Jan Jorgensen with his long hair yeah and it really is long tied up in his ponytail his body art his long stockings yeah, it's good for the sport Well, I was saying earlier about the attitude of young Toby Penty, the way he's approached the match. I'm also liking the fact that uh, despite being a 13-4 down at uh, one stage, that he's still fighting. Every single rally, every single point. The odds of him winning this match from this position are fairly slim, but... I do like a player that just refuses to give up. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, what do you do against that? Came off the frame of the racket, that one. Completely missed time from Jorgensen. Mm. Pity the serve in the net from Penty. Two points away now. Jorgensen from uh, giving Denmark a two-love lead in the final of these European Mixed Team Championships. Oh, good defence. Yes, well played. Another example of the fighting spirit. Quickly, it gets up, and then the awareness 
to know where the gap was, where he should be aiming his winning shot. So after just 32 minutes of play, Jan Jorgensen with seven match point opportunities. Yeah, nice disguise on the slice drop shot there from Jan Jorgensen. And his victory complete and a nice acknowledgement there from the reigning European champion. The pat on the back for his young opponent, acknowledging how well he fought and how well he played. But uh, Jan Jorgensen showing his class. When under pressure, when behind in that opening game, 11-15 behind he was at one stage.